Alright guys, welcome back. So, we we'll are looking at a fairly straightforward topic today that I surprisingly haven't touched on before. Is uh, We're going to be looking at creating and adding some simple sound effects to our first video game. Uh, we're going to create a sound effect for when we shoot the bullets and for when those bullets hit the asteroids and blow them up. Now, first thing is how are we actually going to be creating these sound effects? Now, there's a million different one ways you might create sounds, but a really, really awesome tool if you're just like just like getting started making video games or whatever, and you just want to create some quick, simple, um, but effective sound effects just to make your game feel a little bit better and a little bit more alive, is to use a tool called BFXR. You can find this at BFXR.net. Browser-based. Um, awesome little program that allows you to basically just randomly generate uh, video game sound effects all themed around video game stuff. Um, it's based on a similarly awesome program called SFXR and it was basically made for things like game jams and stuff like that to really quickly create simple sound effects but also has a bunch of fun sliders and things you can play around with to make better sounds. And as it says here, you have full rights to any sounds made to this program and free to use them for any purposes, commercial or otherwise. So it's it's there, it's there for anyone to use. Again, that's bfxr.net. Super, super awesome tool. I can't recommend it enough. Um, basically, all you do is you can click on any of these little things here and it will generate a random sound effect, like, like kind of randomize these sliders a bit. Um, of something based on whatever it is you've clicked, like if you want a random jump sound effect, you can click the jump button, and it's creating all kinds of little 8-bit like jump sound effects. And if you want to, if you find one that you kind of like or sounds similar to what you kind of like, or maybe you just want to modify it a bit, then you can just run with that as your base and like maybe play with some of the settings or save it as a WAV and then edit it in Audacity or something like that and make it like a bit fancier. But all we're going to do is we're just going to generate some sounds for shooting our bullets and for so for when the uh, the asteroids explode. So let's look at laser shoot. Mm, I quite like that one actually. I think. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. So I'm just going to hit export WAV over here. I mean, I saved a few on uh, onto my desktop already, but I'm just going to save uh, this is laser underscore shoot six dot WAV, which whatever it's called there. I'll just try and remember that, and we want one for explosions as well, so let's see. Ooh, I actually quite like that one. like that one off the bat. Let's have a few more. Yeah, I like that first one. Let's go back to it. Yeah, let's, let's go straight with that one. Explosion that we have. Yeah, I'll replace the old one. And there we go. So now I have these two sound effects um, as WAV files, and now we just need to actually import them into the game. So back in Game Maker now, all we need to do is create those sound effects inside of Game Maker. Create them as sound resources, just as we make things, just as we make sprite resources and object resources. So we have resources for our sounds. So over here in a little folder are called Sounds underneath Sprites. Just right click and go to Create Sound. And create an empty sound, and we're going to name it just similar to how we name sprites SBR underscore whatever and objects OBJ underscore whatever, and call this SND underscore um, shoot for our shooting sound effect and then where this little folder icon is click that to load up a sound file and I believe it was laser shoot 6 dot wav and you can hit play to play an endless loop of whatever the sound effect is just to make sure you got the right one don't need to worry about any of these things for now we just like it'll, it'll work by default if you just leave them alone I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that one. And then we're just going to do the same thing again. I'm going to click and go insert sound. SND underscore explode. And load in explosion.wav. That's the one we want. And then click OK. So now we have those two sound effects in the game. Um, and they're ready and ready to be referred to by our objects and used in the game logic. So let's go ahead and make the game actually play these sounds now. So if I'm going to open up OBJ underscore player over here. Uh, and where it says press space, where we were doing our shooting before, our press space event. I'm going to open up this code, which is the code where we generated the, the bullet. And under all this, I'm just going to write audio underscore play underscore sound. You see how it turns yellow, built in function. And like if you press F1, you go to index and type in audio underscore, you can see all of the different commands related to audio and sound in general using the new audio engine. Now there's three arguments you have to pass along with this function in brackets. 
Um, the first is just the name of the sound that you want them to play, which is SND underscore shoot in this case. Uh, the next one is the priority of that sound. We don't really need to worry about it, but like when you have a lot of different sounds playing at once, um, more than the uh, the channel number is set to, then uh, some sounds will be stopped to prioritize other ones based on uh, what these priority settings are, but we don't really need to worry about that at all, so I'm just going to set this to zero. Um, you can set it to any arbitrary number and like the higher ones take for the priority, but it's not really important to us right now. And loops, we definitely don't want it to loop, so I'm going to put zero. If I set that to one, then the sound would, would loop indefinitely until we told it to stop. But that's not what we want. So audio play underscore play underscore sound, SND underscore shoot, zero, zero, and semicolon. Uh, I'm just going to copy that line now and close that. In fact, let's run that first of all so we can demonstrate that that works. So now when I press space to shoot, it's also playing our sound effect that we generated from our VFXR. Now the only other thing we need to do is basically write that exact same line of code again in our asteroid um, objects in the events where they're destroyed. So in obj underscore asteroid, pop along to the destroy event, double click on the action, and I'm just going to, well, I'll, I could paste it, but I'm just going to write it again, I guess. Play, sound, this time SND underscore explode, and again, 0, comma, 0, bracket, semicolon. Now I am going to copy and paste this line because it's the exact same sound. I'll click OK, because that's going to work for this asteroid, but we obviously also need to do it for our uh, child asteroid, because a ch child asteroid has its own destroy event. So open up the action for our uh, child obj uh, child asteroid, which is obj underscore asteroid underscore s, and just paste in that line again, audio underscore play underscore sound, s and the underscore explode, zero, zero. Okay, now if I press F5, run the game, when I shoot these, they make exploding sounds. And our game starts to feel just that little bit more alive, a little bit more polished than it did last we left it. So that's how you do sound effects at a very basic level. That SF, as I said, uh, BFXR and SFXR are super, super awesome tools. Really recommend them for doing really simple 8 bit sound effects for your like, games. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, found that useful, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.